In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the different formulae associated with straight lines. So let's spell out the formulae that we're going to talk about first. So the gradient between two points, the gradient between two points, we're going to call these x1, y1 and x2, y2. These little subscript numbers are just labels. So this is the x coordinate in the first point, the y coordinate in the first point, the x coordinate of the second point, and the y coordinate of the second point. Okay, so the formula is the gradient m equals the difference in the y values divided by the difference in the x values. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The midpoint of these two points x1, y1, x2, y2 is simply the average, the mean of the x coordinates and the mean of the y coordinates. Now a common mistake here is to subtract at this point, but we don't want to subtract. We must add then divide by 2. And finding the mean of the points finds the middle of those two points. And the third one we're going to look at, the distance between the two points. So the distance between x1, y1 and x2, y2. Well this is just Pythagoras that we use. So the x distance squared plus the y distance squared square rooted and that finds the distance between the two points. So let's use this now to do a couple of questions. So let's have a look at part A. So part A here, find the gradient of the line between the points 2 minus 7 and 5, 2. Well, we're going to make this our x1. That's our x1. This is our y1. This is our x2. And this is our y2. So let's just sub them in the formula. The gradient equals y2 minus y1, 2 minus minus 7, over x2 minus x1, over 5 minus 2, which is 9 over 3, which is 3. And that's that one done. We've found the gradient of the line that joins those two points. Moving on slightly. Let's look at midpoint. So part B, let's find the average of the two points. So again, we're going to use the same setup. Our 2 is the x1, minus 7 is the y1, 5 is the x2, and 2 is the y2. So let's add the x coordinates together. 2 plus 5 over 2, and minus 7 plus 2 over 2, which is equal to... 7 over 2, and this one becomes minus 5 over 2. Now I'm going to leave that as a fraction, there's no need to turn that into a decimal. Finally, part C, we want to find the distance between the two points. So, square root of the difference between the x values so that's 5 minus 2 squared plus the difference between the y values which is 2 minus minus 7 squared equals square root of 3 squared plus 9 squared which is equal to the square root of 9 plus 81 which is root of 90. Now if we type that into a calculator we can see it's the square root of 3 squared plus 9 squared and this will simplify the third for us to give 3 root 10 and that's a few formulae associated with straight lines.